meteorologist Dylan Robichaud. All right now we're going to give you a quick update on the snowpack here and you'll see across the Willamette Basin uh, we're sitting about 79 percent of normal and then down there in the Umpqua Road Basin we're sitting a little bit better at 87 percent of normal and that's because we've had that stronger more intense subtropical jet stream that's been feeding more moisture towards California and southern Oregon so further down to the south you go the more snowfall that they've had and the problem isn't the lack of moisture you know we've had so much moisture the problem has been the lack of cold air as you look off to the southeast part of the state they're actually doing better in southeast oregon at 106 percent of normal because they've had more cold air so whatever moisture they have had has been in the form of snow going back from the start of october like i said we've had no lack of rainfall here eugene has a slight deficit but you know if you're plus or minus a half inch an inch you know, you're doing all right. Uh, Roseburg North been both above average so far for the water year. And now as we head closer towards the middle of February, this is actually when we start kind of uh, coming down from the crest of the rainy season. This is our fourth wettest month of the year. We average about 4.6 inches of rain in the rain gauges. Also, the coldest time of the year is now over. So that was uh, end of December, early January. Now we're starting to pull out of the winter cold. By the end of the month, the average high Look at that, 54 degrees, so things will be on the mend. Outside right now, though, we're sitting in the 40s west of the Cascades. Uh, you head east of the mountains, look at Burns at 38 degrees. So that's where all your cold air is setting up shop. And as we look at the next few days, here's your jet stream. So again, we're taking that cold air, we're sending it on down towards the south, and that's why snow levels will be much lower. But things warm up. Generally speaking, we're only talking a couple chilly days because look at the forecast going into the weekend. Now we have the greens on the map, the yellows are getting closer, which means that the temperatures will be turning milder towards next Saturday, Sunday. And you know what? By Valentine's Day of next week, we could be looking at temperatures around 50. Outside right now, though, we're looking at uh, relatively dry conditions going through the next few hours tonight. A few pop up sprinkles past midnight west of I-5 will be your greatest chance of rain and then east of I-5 we're looking a little bit drier uh, through tomorrow. Uh, 1 30 p.m. again these are very much hit and miss showers. The clouds increase Friday afternoon. Why is that? We have another weak system that is going to come in from our north uh, on Friday. So the first half of the day you know what we're talking showers on Friday but look right here. So that's nine o'clock on Friday. Now, as we go towards Friday afternoon by 3 p.m., we're dry and then the sun starts to come out on Saturday. So you kind of get the point. Things are trending much drier as we go into the next few days. As we look at the temperatures today, we made it 50 degrees, a very popular number out there, but it gets chillier tomorrow. We don't even make it to 50 on Friday. We don't even make it past 45. By Saturday, though, as that wind switches direction, we do make it back up to the lower end of the 50s. Overnight tonight, we'll be looking at a few pop-up sprinkles. A little bit chillier here across the Cascade Passes. And then for tomorrow afternoon, the upper 40s are in the cards for many of you. The weekend right now is looking relatively dry. I think Saturday will be the sunnier of the two days. Rain chances are, of course, uh, more prevalent as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Look at that, a big fat 6-0 by Valentine's Day as temperatures warm on up. Snow levels increase to 4,000 feet for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then here in the valley, we're talking temperatures in the 50s for most of next week. Thank you, Dylan. There are a